All right, everybody. So, I recently had a lot of people asking me how to number take in and just in general how to build this to basically a uh, truck vault. And most people just use this. And don't get me wrong, it's really good. Because it can, like, has this, and it's completely enclosed. And don't get me wrong, I really like it, but there's one downside to it. It's really freaking hard to get in and out of. Yeah, no, no, yeah, sure, but now it's freaking hard to get out. Luckily, I have this, but uh, that, but still. It's easier for me to get out of, but still. By the way, you do not need exploits at all to make this. So, what you're going to do is get you're going to do is you're going to need uh, Val's all purpose hauler and a 531 trailer and not and what you're going to do first is take this your spawner for your Val's all purpose hauler and just place it it doesn't matter where you place it it can be anywhere then what you want to do so then what you're gonna do is take two blueprints, place them right here like this, just like that. So now this is what you should have so far. Freeze frame like this for a minute, for a couple seconds. All right, so there's that. Then what you want to do is you want to take your val your 531 hauler, your trailer, and then get it upside down like this. And then what you're gonna do is have it so that it's hanging off the back by one stud. Like we actually, well, yeah, by just one. You don't want to have it completely flush with this. You want to have it off by one. If it's not off by one, then it'll just get. It'll just be the trailer inside of the truck won't be glitched together. So we're gonna. And by the way, you can be. You can do this on Xbox or PC. It doesn't matter. And like I said, you do not need an, a GY to do this. What you want to do is place it just like this. You're gonna have it like that. You're just like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't like that for now. Now you're pretty much done. So now what you want to do is you have to spawn the truck first. Spawn the truck. Then you spawn the trailer. And that's it. And you're done. And uh, there's a specific way you have to use this. Because there is one that there is one downside to it. And there's two downsides, I guess. One is that the wheels can glitch out sometimes. And another one is that it's not completely sealed. Sealed right here, but that's fine. But the way you use this is you do, I repeat, you do not use this one. You do not use that, because if you do, that happens. So do not use the top tailgate. Use the bottom tailgate, and it flips open like that. Flips open like that, so you can put your stuff in, then do that, and boom, it's close. And I like this a lot better than that one because it's, you don't, it's easier to get in and out of and it's just a lot more straightforward, I guess. So that's really all you need to do. Yeah, you can hook a button, you can hook a button and a wire up to it to sync it together, but you don't really need to. You can if you, if you want to do it like that. That's literally that all it is. So I hope this is really helped you guys. Thank you for watching.